Was that mad at me? No. I know Brother Brandon. Hallelujah. It's very rare that this side of the room has more people than this side. Praise God. It's a, it's a special evening. Amen. Hallelujah. As, uh, as you all have seen on, on the overhead, it's a special evening. Every, every time we come together to worship, it's special. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit told me to say that right off the bat. It's always special because, praise God, you uh, sacrifice your time to bless Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And so um, I'm just so thankful for your hearts of worship and coming into the house of the Lord as we um, as we learn from Holy Spirit. Say the name Holy Spirit. As we learn from Holy Spirit this past Sunday, how do you insult God? How do you trample on Lord Jesus? How do you treat God as an unholy thing? How do you how do you disgrace the blood of Lord Jesus Christ? Don't come to church. And I'm gonna tell you, beloved church family, about the Lord. When any, anybody who preaches that kind of message, all of hell right now is shaking. Oh, yeah. And um, I, I've, got, I've got a lot of feedback. Praise God. Some, hallelujah, some. It, it, it's been personal. It's been a personal fight for me. So I ask for your prayer, amen, because the truth hurts. Yeah. Amen. The truth hurts. The truth, say it with me, the truth hurts. Yeah. If you don't believe me, look at what Lord Jesus Christ went, went through that cross. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The truth hurts. Hallelujah. Uh, we have a special evening plan, and uh, once again, when I say this, we have baptisms tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah praise God, and uh, hallelujah, thank you, yes. Let's give God praise, amen. It's all for Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Now, one thing to stand correct, because we say this all the time in worship, is that we are one body in Christ, unified in the Holy Spirit. I just want to encourage you, I want to encourage you, that you may not have yet baptized a person in water. I need to say this to you and be correctly as far as with the written word of God, the Holy Bible, and our Holy Spirit is speaking right now. Any soul that is baptized here at Open Arms Community Church, you are baptizing that person in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are one in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So give God praise for that. Amen. See, we need to break away, right? We need to break away from limited thinking. And that's going to lead us into this evening in our worship service, limited thinking. Amen? Rebuke that. Because God isn't in our limited thinking. God is God Almighty. Hallelujah. His love for you is unspeakable. It's unbearable. How much He loves you. I mean, you look at Lord Jesus Christ and praise God we have eternity. Because that's how we discover the love of God our Father. Because he gave us Christ. Amen. That was his offering. Hallelujah. And that leads us into this title for this evening. Offering worship. Amen. Pray with me as I open up the prayer. Heavenly Father, as I plead your holy and precious blood, Father God, I thank you. For all of eternity, Lord Jesus Christ, it's all because of you. It's your salvation. And Father, because we are in you, we are all saved. And Father, I thank you for your wisdom and your anointing, Father. That Holy Spirit, you would bless every one of your beloved children who would want you with wisdom beyond comprehension, beyond tongues of fire, beyond prophecy, Father God. This is who you are. Holy Spirit, you give us the wisdom. And we worship you and we rest in your wisdom, Father. We thank you for it. And Heavenly Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood, we know, Lord Jesus Christ, you are the name above every name. You are our Lord and our Savior. And Father God, right now, I rebuke 
the, the spirit of confusion. Yeah. Right now, Father God, I bind up the spirit of pain. Right now, I bind up that spirit of depression. Right now, Father God, I, I bind up that demonic Jezebel spirit of, 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 of just it, selfishness, of, of haughtiness, yeah. of, of being conceited, Father God. I rebuke you right now in Jesus Christ's name, Father, and I thank you, Holy Spirit, that as we bless you, that your peace right now starts just overflowing within our hearts, Father. Thank you, Father God, that you love us. Father, bless this evening. Lord Jesus Christ, teach us. Say it, beloved church, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. teach me, teach. change me, change. Love, me. love me. And it's in Jesus' name. Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name. Jesus. One more time. It's in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Make sure you wave at somebody. I'm going to take time to wave somebody. Praise God. We're going to go about what we're going to do exactly what the Holy Spirit wants us to do. Praise God. So great to see everybody here on a, on a Wednesday evening. Hallelujah. I, I, pray that, uh, I pray that God is blessing you with a fresh anointing. Yes. And when I say fresh anointing, please understand this, family. Religion likes to teach all different kinds of anointing. There's all different kinds of gifts, as you guys know, that flows through the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Right? There's all these different gifts. Let me make one thing clear. Hey, Sister Mary. Let me make one thing clear. Is it Joey's gift? No. No. Is it Holy Spirit's gift? Yes. Amen. So may I ask you, when God's presence in your life flows, do you get to choose what gift you want? No. Can I get an amen? amen? I'm like you, and I know I'm like you, because we are one and we are grounded together. Hallelujah. I want every gift of God. Amen. amen. I want God to flow through my life like never before. Amen. So rebuke. Rebuke, before we get into worship, rebuke this thought of not being enough. Amen. Is Lord Jesus Christ enough? Yes. Amen. You notice what just happened right there, right? God completely separated who you think I am versus who really is I am. Amen? Amen? So are you worthy? Yes. Amen? Who makes you worthy? Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's in this relationship with God our Father that we know you are my Lord, my Savior. You exchanged my old, you paid for it, it's dead and gone, and you gave me the new, being a beloved child of God. And now I will live this life as a beloved child of God, Brother David. Right? This means that this is continuously having a relationship with God, Brother Brian. It's no longer saying, well, you know what, I received Jesus last week, and I guess this is just the way I'm going to be. No! Sister Charlie, it doesn't work that way. It's a relationship with God. Amen? How many of you want this relationship with God? Obviously, all of you do, because you guys are here on Wednesday evening. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen? All right, praise God. Let's get started. Brother PJ, thank you for checking that. Did I do it right? Oh, hallelujah. Thank you so much. Welcome, beloved church family on Facebook. Hallelujah. Hi, Mama Kay. Um, if you're in Lebanon, Kentucky, or surrounding areas, please come to church. Amen? Please come to church. How many of you have reached out to people after Sunday and told them, come on, it's time to come to church. Amen? Show him, be honest with God. God knows if you're lying or if you're honest, right? Yeah. Amen? Now, for those of you who didn't raise your hand, I charge you in the name of Jesus, listen, God gave you a voice and an anointing. There's that word again, a gift. That within people that you love, if within your, your areas of influence, I like to say, I, I like to say your, your family, your friends, your co-workers, God has given you a voice to speak to these souls and say, it's time to come to church. Well, I don't need it. Yes, you do need to come to church. Amen. You do. If they still don't believe you, have a phone. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'll still love you. Don't get crunchy. Amen. Choose to focus on God, not on the blank. Amen. Let's get into the blank. I love this picture. I love this picture of this couple just madly in love with each other. You know, you can just see the passion. You can see the love in their eyes. Amen. I don't know them, so don't ask me who they are. I just like this picture. Okay. 
But this is where I want to get at. This how Holy Spirit wants to, wants to teach this evening. And the anointing of God wants to flow through our lives so that we can regain focus. Because see, there's some of us right now that allow the enemy to have a say in our life. And it's actually holding us back. Right? I need you to know, the devil has ears. One amen comes from my wife. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The devil has ears. Which means the devil can hear you speak death and it just calls them in and invites you in. The devil can hear you just grunt and complain and gossip and guess what? Chaos, anxiety, depression, garbage is going to start coming in your life. You know why? You're calling him in. The devil can hear grunts. Oh, am I preaching now? Yeah. You want to hear a grunt?
And I pray right now that in Jesus' name, that as we move forward in this worship service, that we're just going to allow his presence to flow like never before. Can you hear amen? So for those of you who are either single and want to get married or want to find somebody, or for those of you who are dating, hallelujah, those of you who are engaged, praise God, wave to the engaged ones back there, hallelujah, give them a wave, everybody, hallelujah, bless them, pray for them, hallelujah. For those of you who've been married, right, it don't matter how long you've been married, but just listen to the anointing of this message and let's get into this, praise God. If you notice, the screen went gray. And the screen now is kind of washed out. See, what happens in a relationship, especially when it's grounded in the world? I'm going to show you. Something happens where it's not the same. Somebody changed. I'm here to tell you our God never changes. Amen? If we go through a season, a hard season in our life, our God never left us. Amen? If we're going through a struggle, a momentary struggle, or we're reaping things that's not of God, it's not God's fault. Amen? See, that's why Lord Jesus Christ came. You see that? You see how the whole picture comes together, Sister Lord? Enough of just blaming God for all this. Lord Jesus came, died, rose again already. Amen? I hear so many people tell me, well, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I've got. You don't know what I'm, you don't know what I don't, you don't know. Do you know Jesus? Amen. Do you know Jesus? Right? Do you know Jesus? Say his name with me, Jesus. Jesus. You see, in this picture that I want to show you, it's just going to be a quick storyline. In this picture, this man's heart changed for his girlfriend or his wife, and you see what he's looking at. You see, can you, can you imagine the disrespect? Could you imagine the disrespect this beloved daughter of God is going through? I confess to you as a man of God, as pastor of Open Arms Community Church, I confess to you, I've done this to Trish in the past. Praise God, that person's dead and gone. Hallelujah. And I thank God putting this message just a couple hours ago. I thank God when I was putting these pictures up there. I said, Father, thank you for forgiving me. Right? Thank you, Father God, that, that, that the enemy did not steal my breath when I was living this way. Amen? Amen? Yes. And then you, you, you ask yourself, you know, these distractions affect the ones we love. You see, the way Lord Jesus Christ, how he introduced himself, wasn't very popular with very holy and traditional people. Because they expected the Son of God to have some kind of ooh, right? But you notice what God did and we're coming up from upon Christmas time, right? I mean, my goodness, our Lord Jesus Christ didn't even have a place to go born in a manger. I love that movie, that little animated movie, The Star, with the little donkey. Oh, it's just so cute, all right? Don't get crunchy, I'm just saying. It's just a cute... My goodness, some of y'all are like, oh, that's not, that's not scriptural. Come on now. Really? That's where you're at? I mean, really? My point is, is that Lord Jesus Christ, he come as a servant. Thank you, Lord. Right? Thank you. And I love this because when you talk about Lord Jesus Christ, this is how intimate are you with God or are you intimate with God? Let me repeat that. What is your relationship with Christ like? Because if your relationship with Christ is based on Holy Spirit, then you have the heart to just serve God. To be a servant to one another, right? It's never about you. It's always about Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Meaning that it doesn't matter if you walk on me, talk on me, spit on me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you, you drag my name. It doesn't matter if you judge me. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. Because I serve my Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to love you. Yeah. Amen. Amen? Or do you have a relationship with God that, okay, Lord Jesus Christ, you saved me. I call you Lord. I'm very grateful that you saved me. But now you did that work. Now it's time to live my life. I'm just introducing to you. I'm introducing to you religion right now in 2020. And I will talk to you when I want something. And I'll do works that are good because I need something in return. And if this preacher don't preach the way I want, I want to preach, I'm going to another church. If you don't tell me what I want to hear, I don't want to hear it. If your God doesn't match the way I'm living my life, I don't want nothing to do with it. What is wrong with that, folks? Everyone, see, you said everyone. 
Lord Jesus Christ said, you brood of vipers. You think you know my father. Who you call God, but that's my dad. And you're going to try to come at me when your heart couldn't be furthest from you? And then you make it impossible for the children of God to have a relationship because you put all these rules and regulations on them? And Lord Jesus Christ said, I am here now because I'm going to eliminate all that. And whoever wants me is going to have a relationship with me. And in their own time, they're going to come to me. And they will be completely open to me. And I will flow through them and they will flow through me. And Holy Spirit will give me the words. Holy Spirit will give me the power. Holy Spirit will give me the anointing to live a victorious life. And again, amen. Yeah. 
now? Thank God for his mercy. Amen? Amen. Thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. He saved us. Hallelujah. Yes. But I'll tell you right now, as lost souls going straight to the pit of hell, what happened? That desire became anger. That desire manifested as what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And it goes from having a love and a, a passion to something's wrong with us. Yeah. You notice how still it does in this room, right? Yeah. See, God is asking, is there anything that the devil's using in your life that makes you reflect back on and it makes you go like this? God is saying, will you leave that on the altar tonight? Yeah. Will you leave it at the altar tonight? Meaning, if it's somebody who broke your heart. Right? And you think, if you hear the name, they're not even talking about the person, but you hear the name and all of a sudden you're like, hey, that needs to be left at the altar. Amen. Maybe it's the person that you're with. Maybe it's the person that you're with that did something to you back in the day that truly you haven't really forgiven. God is saying, you need to leave that at the altar, beloved. I, I did the perfect work on that cross. Leave it at the altar. Amen? Thank you. It could be a number of things as we discuss. Let's get into the word. We're going to be in Romans 12, and we're only going to go through a couple verses because we're going to get ready for baptism. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Yay! Baptism. Hallelujah. All, all of heaven is so excited. Amen. All of heaven is so excited. Praise God. Therefore. Oh, that was weak. Come on, Mason. Help me out now. Therefore. That's good and bitter. There for a reason. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy. Are we all brothers and sisters here? Yes. Yes. Amen. I heard hallelujah. I heard amen. I heard yes. Amen. If you said that, that means that God is your father. Amen. Right? How do you receive God as a father? Yes, he is. Only through? Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ says to the Father, they receive me. The Father goes, Yes, they did. Thank you, Lord. And he breathed his breath on you. Amen? Amen. Let's do that. I believe all of us need to do that real quick. Amen? And we're not going to rush the Holy Spirit. But on the count of three, we're going to take a deep breath in our nose. Uh, we're going to take the deepest breath we can. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, if somebody's trying to beat you to it, but let me pray this over you. Let me speak this word over you. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, his anointing power, his presence, Holy Spirit, right now, that is flowing through the atmosphere that is living right inside of you. He says that as you breathe him in your nose, that his presence is going to flow through the Holy of Holies, right. from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Yes. I believe in declaring and speaking over you in new season, yes. that as you breathe his presence, his fire, I can see the fire all yes. over you, brother. As you breathe his presence in your nostril, breathe him in. I'm talking about to the point where it hurts. Can you hear an amen? Amen. amen? amen. Come on now. Come on, family. Let's all stand up. You can breathe better than we stand up. And in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, when you take this breath, hallelujah, listen, this is all for Lord Jesus Christ, who is standing here right now. This is his holy church, amen? amen. Yes. That God wants to see you take this breath. And when you exhale, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I curse every foul thing for anyone who has ears to hear right now in Jesus' name. Let God see your hands, amen? Let God see your hands. Father God, I speak to every soul right now, worshiping the name of a very name, Lord Jesus Christ. They have their hands lifted up high, Father, and as they breathe you in, I believe and declare that as I curse every foul thing, every cell that's not acting right, Father God, every bone that's hurting, every muscle, every tissue, whatever it is, Father, then when we exhale it, we are going to rebuke it right now, and all that stuff is going to be casted to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. On the count of three, beloved church family, remember, deep, deep breath in your nose and exhale out your mouth. One, two, three. Let's say it together, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In view of God's mercy, who is God agape? Who is agape? 
Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's my man right there. Praise God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Agape. Amen. He is God Almighty. He cannot break it up. Amen. This world is a professional in breaking up the Godhead and trying to run with it. Run away from that. That's a cult. That's demonic. Can I get an amen? amen? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Three in one. You are made in His image. Hallelujah. Soul, spirit, body. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. I am made in God's image. Hallelujah. Soul, spirit, body. Amen. If you took Joey's soul away, what happens to the rest of you? Amen. Amen. It's not complicated. It's not right. <laughs> if you took the spirit out of me, what happens to Joey? Oh, Lord, can't speak of me. I fear God. Okay, you took the body out of your way. You cannot, right? Right? The same applies to our God Almighty. Don't let the devil deceive you. Amen, beloved child of God? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. From the very get-go, from the very beginning, God said, we will make it in our image. Last time I checked, when you say I'll order it for Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is a God amen. Amen. In view of God's mercy. Let's do it better. In view. You know, there's somebody right now that needs to get this. Say with me, Brother Mason, get it. Yeah. Right? Get it. Maybe that's not enough. In view of God's mercy. In view of God's mercy. You see what's happening to the screen? It's getting to the point right now where you're just up front and personal with God. Hallelujah. Give God praise for the new covenant church. Amen. We have his blood. We have his blood. Enough talk about what the devil is doing. I'll tell you right now, if you are a beloved child of God and Jesus Christ is your Lord, that devil is running away from you. I don't say that rightly. I just say it because my Lord Jesus Christ paid the price. Amen. Amen. And last time I checked, the Lord Jesus Christ is at the scene. Ain't no foul thing going to come against him. Does that include COVID? Yes. Yeah. Everything, right? Yeah. In view of God's mercy. So we talked about Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You guys know this about Agape. And how I like to translate this image is you see this picture of a Father, you see this picture of a Son, and Holy Spirit. Now I know this picture of Holy Spirit doesn't do it justice. So Holy Spirit said he wants this image put up there. Where you see Father, you see the Son, and you see Holy Spirit, and this is what happens. The Spirit of God is exactly that, right? For those of you who have beloved daddy that went to be with the Lord, that are no longer here, right? His Spirit is no longer here. That's right. Can I get an amen on that? Listen, if you're trying to reach out to the dead, that's demonic. Listen, the Christian community needs to hear this. That's from the pit of hell. That's demonic. God hates it. Yeah. Amen. It's witchcraft. The spirit goes back to the Father. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We're not playing game here. Open our no, amen. The spirit, you don't communicate to nobody. Nobody. You can be thankful for a godly daddy. And guess what? Your daddy is in heaven. Praise God. Amen. Holy Spirit. Say his name. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will remind you of not only your character and integrity, right? That your dad is stood on you. But Holy Spirit will remind you above all the love of the Father. Amen. Amen. And this is who Holy Spirit is. And I love this picture right here because it just shows this, this, this grown man looking at that sunset. And it's just, it, it's just, I just love it when Holy Spirit teaches this way. I'm just... I just cried because I didn't have this growing up. I, I didn't have none of this. 
And guess what? Being in the ministry, the devil used that to his advantage because of my insecurity. Until I repented and said, Father, I don't care about all this. All I care is you. You're my father now. Amen. And see, I pray this over many of you right now who are hurting. I pray this. Because right now we live in, in, in a generation where grandparents are raising the children. Right? We, we, come, we live in a generation that there's a lot of moms now raising the kids without a dad at home. Right? And listen, there's no judgment. Say with me, no judgment. But what we're doing is we're exposing the enemy and how the enemy wants to attack your life and your family's life. And we're going to rebuke that in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah. Therefore, all right, so it says, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer. I love this picture right here, offer. Right? I love that picture right there, offer. Last time I checked, to offer, right, that it, it takes a relationship. You have to be willing. Amen? You have to be willing to, to, to offer. You know, will you take that? Right? And praise God, also, yes, I will. Amen? But if I didn't offer to you and you just took it, you stole something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To offer. Say what we offer. Uh -huh. To offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Amen? There's this word in there that says living, right? We just said, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. So this is where we come up with this word, offering. This word, offering, is not a matter of when we just pass the collection plate and you put your money in. Yes, God expects that. Can I get an amen? Amen. Listen, beloved church family, if you're not giving God his money, give God his money and get ready because God will bless your soft off because you're being obedient. And did God did God only give 10% on that cross? No. 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 <laughs> huh? But notice how merciful the Father is. He gives us a baseline of 10%. Being a new covenant truth, guess what? 10% is no more. It should be more. Yeah. What did he just say? Yes, I want to say it. It should be everything the Holy Spirit tells you to give, give. Oh, man, some of y'all just got two inches taller. What did you say? Get your hand out of my pocket, preacher. Listen, I'm trying to touch your money. It ain't yours to begin with. It's God's money, amen? I'm just trying to touch this devil's head off. Hallelujah. Let me just touch this devil's head off in your life, amen? You got money problems? Guess what? Get right with God. What are you talking about? Get right with God. Are you giving God his money? Preach it, Pastor. Offering. This is your true and proper worship. So it's an incredible that we do all these things in ministry, in church, right? We have our first praise and worship team. We have the songs that we sing. We have altar call, right? By the grace of God, we have baptisms later on. You're going to witness miracles upon miracles. But here God is saying to you and I that if you truly want to worship me, true and proper worship, that your offering unto me is living a sacrificial life. It's living a life holy and pleasing. And that is worship. You see, it's easy for us to tell people, oh, you need to worship God, you need to worship God. Then what do we do? We show up on a Sunday, we get all emotional. I'm not saying, listen, you come in God's house, you will feel Holy Spirit power. And then God will rock your world. Amen? And that's great. That's all fine. That's, that's perfect. But then what happens now when you leave church, right? Just back in, back in the grinding thing, right? Back in the grinding thing. Then you wonder why Wednesday you just crunch it. Praise God, Wednesday night, I pray you come to church, right? What happens? You worship. Can you get an amen? amen? Right? What happens? You worship God, right? Come on, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to trip you up. I'm just, help me, help me bless God. Help Holy Spirit to teach this and allow His presence to flow through your life, right? We do these things because we want to worship God, right, Brother Brandon? We do all these things because God knows our heart that we want to worship God. However, there will come a time now and I say this now, tonight, that now the way I live my life, hallelujah, the way I live my life, whether I'm just at home doing just things in the house, or whether I'm carrying out appointments throughout the day, or whether I'm getting groceries at the store, or maybe I'm building something, or maybe I'm 
I refuse that right now in Jesus' name. You have to take that thing captive, amen? And you have to tell that thing, I'm not going to do that ever again. Devil, you try, but in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I give you all the praise, Father God, because this thing that tried to creep itself back into my life has tried to come in. And Holy Spirit, I bless you. I bless you. And what happens in that worship? You could feel his peace flow through you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now I confess to you because I throw myself under the bus. What happens when I open my eyes and that, that image starts co coming back? Right? Do I entertain the image? No. Guess what? I'm telling you as your pastor, I drop on my knees on my face and I'm not going to leave. And I say, Father, I thank you once again because that image just crept up and every time it comes up, I'm going to give you praise, Lord Jesus Christ. Because that's the old, that's dead and gone and I have the resurrection power that lives in me. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Hallelujah. And so what happens to Brother David? Hallelujah, what happens? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You open your eyes. Most of the time, that's it. Yeah. But there's sometimes, sometimes for me, third time. Oh, yeah. Whether it's within that next five minutes or later on in the day. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, family, this is between you and God. Yeah. Say it with me, me and God. Yeah. This is between you and God. Now, when this thing has the nerve to come at you another time, another time it was going to try to come at you, or am I just going to go, oh, well, I guess it's the truth then. No. I'll tell you right now. I know many of you are surprised. We're family. You're my brothers and sisters. I'll lift my hands up, Brother Brandon. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you that as I step, as I take a step in Jesus' name, that I believe your holy and precious blood. And every foul thing that's trying to speak to me right now, Father, I know it hears me, and I'm going to say, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Come on, say it with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. See, right there. Are you kidding me? Satan himself doesn't want to hear that. Do it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Devil, yeah, you got no right to speak to me. Amen. Right. Amen. But see, once again, this is between, say with me, me and God. Yeah. If you're the type of person that is going to know who Christ is, know that the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit is in you, who saved you time and time and time again. Know what you know now. You know some of the deepest mysteries of God. We don't boast or Pastor John, myself, or anybody. This is all Lord Jesus Christ now, amen? Right. I'm not smart enough. I'm just like you. I'm just worshiping, amen? Right. Listen, when I said like you, you are smart, all right? I'm not just calling you. I'm saying I'm not smart enough. Some of you are like, did you just call me stupid? <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm just saying Holy Spirit's wisdom will bless you, amen? Yeah. But this is between you and God, amen? Say with me, me and God. Me and God. Praise God. Offering worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then, oh, hallelujah. Say it with me, then. then. Praise God. Then. If, 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 this, is, this is how God is just teaching right now. Amen? When you have God in view, you saw how that view is just one-on-one -on -one incident, right? We like to say like binoculars, right? When you just zoom on in. Amen? You see, right now, when I look at all of you, praise God, when I look at, I can see everybody, right? But God says, in view of my mercy, you have to be like this, right? And you have to zoom in where you don't see nobody but Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Sometimes you just got to go like this. See? Like right there, you see Sister Sandy just nodding her head, amen? In view of God's mercy, and then God says when you start thinking this way, don't conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. God is teaching us right now how to renew our mind. So you struggled at one point with whatever it was. Let me ask you something. Will thinking about it help you? Right? But when you consume your thoughts 
with what Lord Jesus Christ did. Sometimes it's as simple, beloved, to just watch the crucifixion of Lord Jesus over and over and over again. I did that for a long season in my life. I, I had really close friends and family. It's like, man, you lost it. Good. Good, because I didn't want it. <laughs> right, Pastor? I, I thank God I lost it because I didn't want nothing. Let's nail it to the cross. Amen? Amen. But remember, this is between you and Christ. The love of family, he's coming soon. Amen? Hallelujah. This is what it says. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen? And this is his mercy right here. Good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen? So it goes back to this. He's a good father. Lord Jesus Christ said there's only one good. Agape. Amen? Who's agape? Father, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The perfect love of God. The love of the Father, that he loved you so much he gave you his son. The love of the Son, that he loves the Father so much that he would sacrifice everything for us. And the love of the Holy Spirit, that no matter what we do that hurts God every day, he's so merciful and gracious that he's in every breath. That his presence will continuously flow. And he'll continuously love on us. He'll continuously, continuously bless us if we would just allow him. Yes. Will you allow him tonight? Yes. Thank you, Father. I put my butt on there because... <laughs> <laughs> because even though I didn't experience this in my natural life, all because of my Lord Jesus Christ, I experienced all that in overflow. Amen. Amen. All of it, all of it, amen? Seriously, I'm no longer, I'm no longer the insecure, I'm no longer the insecure person that had, had some kind of complex that the world spoke because of all this traumatic stuff. No, nope. it's covered by the blood, all is forgiven. Listen, I, I love my biological dad, just like you love your dad, I forgive him, amen? What happened? The devil used him to do those things. The devil, same with the devil. See, the devil is the one. He's the enemy, and he will use whoever he can yes. to hurt you. It's not that person. Pray for that person. Yes. Amen? Amen? But when you when you release that all to Christ, he blesses you with this new abundant life. Yes. Where no longer you're trying to search for dad's approval. Or, you know, that, 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 that was for over 10 years. That was my reasoning of being a drug addict. Because of my upbringing. My dad was an addict, so started at 11 years old. What was that? Can I be straight up with you? Listen, I'm just throwing myself under the bus, so if you're going to get crunchy about it, there's something wrong with you, not me. I'm just saying, if you're getting upset because I'm just telling you what I went through, that, that's something between you and God. Can I get an amen? amen? I'm just sharing with you that I use that as an excuse to live the way I was living. And, 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 and believing that excuse made me a slave to sin. Yes, the devil, he just had me like a puppet. Yes. Why? Because I chose to let the devil play with me. Yes. But when it comes to finally submit my life to Lord Jesus, yes. when it got to the point where the doctor said, I don't know what to do for you, and I remember looking at Trish and I told her, I don't want to die like this. But when I said that, the eternal part of me convicted me and said, all this time you've done work for the devil. Yep. Now may I say this to you, as I laid on that bed about to die, and I felt like it for months. Trish will tell you, I was a decent person. Worked every day, worked hard. Made good money, provided for her, paid bills. But I had nothing to do with Christ. I had nothing to do with Holy Spirit, the one who seals us. And when I received that word that there's nothing they can do, oh my goodness, the conviction came upon my heart where I did nothing. Nothing for God. 
I did everything for the devil. I hurt so many people. And by the grace of God, when you call out the Lord Jesus Christ, guess what? He's right there. Amen. 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 And glory to God, when we receive Lord Jesus Christ, I'm just here to testify, we didn't go back to the doctor. Doctors called. Doctors left voicemail. Doctors said, if you don't come in, this is going to happen. And we said, no. I died in Christ, and now Christ is in control. Amen. 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 Say what you say to God. We'll do the same for me. You just call on him and he'll do it. Amen. So we talked about offer worship, the worldly worship, and you saw what happened, right? It's that deception that the devil tries to throw out. Be very careful with this, beloved church family, because if you're not content with only Jesus, this is where the devil will try to distract you. It's really sad that this is a big part of our premarital counseling that we do, our marriage counseling that we do, amen? You have to be so intimate with God because of the fact that only Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, can keep your attention. Can I say that again? Yeah. Only Christ, through the anointing of the Holy Spirit, His breath in you and in me, only He can keep our attention. See, I pray that everybody receives this, anybody on Facebook listening, amen? That if you want to have a successful marriage, a successful relationship, it has to be centered and grounded in the fear of God in Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? The reason why, hallelujah, glory to God, amen? Glory to God. The reason why is because when you are grounded in this relationship, Christ is the one that keeps you focused. And when you stay focused on him, he'll rebuke you lusting after things. Right? Desiring things that, guess what? You don't need to look at that. You don't need to look at that girl. Right? Oh, but it's innocent. I hear that a lot. Oh, but it's innocent. I don't mean nothing. Else. Rebuke that. That's the devil. Holy Spirit is in you. And you don't look at that person that way. You wonder why your pastor ain't got no friends? Good. Guess what? I want brothers and sisters. Amen? Amen. I'm not trying to be friends with this world. Amen? Amen? I'm not. I'm not. Because when you... How does the Holy Spirit just said I can say it, so I'm going to say it. I, I think you guys saw that. Amen? If you are out in this world, hear my heart now. If you are out in this world, cheating on your wife, trying to, trying to text some girl on the side, or maybe you're out in this world trying to be addicted to drugs and once again, it's all excuses. Amen. And then you have the nerve to say, God has your back. You're a demon. Right. Because God has nothing to do with that garbage. That's the devil. Amen. Can you get an amen? amen? God has your back when you're focused on Lord Jesus. Amen. God has your back when you're blessing Holy Spirit. Amen. God has your back when you have your full armor on because God has your back. Last time I checked, when you're out doing the devil's work, God will back. You know why? Because you're doing the devil's work. Can you get amen? Oh, one person. Do we ever visit this? Listen, if it hurts your feelings, get over it. But if you think that you're doing something and you call yourself a Christian, but yet you're doing something from the pit of hell, oh, enemy! You are spitting in Jesus' face. How can you call yourself a child of God, but then you're going to go do something to worship the devil? Stand up here. <coughs> I fear God, and I am so thankful that I have this fear for my Lord. Yes. Because God shows me umpteen times a day when I stand before him at the throne. I said it to Pastor. I told Pastor. And Pastor will. We're going to be standing side by side because we said yes to the Holy Spirit and we pastored this church together. Uh, We're one. Amen. 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 Uh, Elders too. Deacons too. Uh, Praise God. Uh, Say with me, wake up. Wake up. How? How can you see what you just saw? Can you imagine your own child going through what Lord Jesus Christ went through? No. no. Every one of you said no. 
Let me ask you this. Lord Jesus Christ is already at the throne for all of eternity. Thank you, Lord. Almost every one of you, I've heard you say, Lord Jesus Christ. I've heard you say the word, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. If I didn't hear you, I see you say, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. See, hallelujah. Yes. You say the name. Jesus Christ. You say the name. You say the name, yes. Lord Jesus Christ. That is the name above every name in all of heaven right now. Amen. All of heaven. You can feel it. You can feel it in your bones. I don't need to tell you this. You can feel it in your bones. This is Holy Spirit now. Yes. You say, my child, boy, I know. He's right here. Amen. There's accountability to this name. Yes. And now, beloved church family, listen. Right, Sister Rosie? It's time to start acting now. Yes. Amen. It's time to start walking this walk. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's time to do it. Amen? Beloved Son of God. Right? It's time to make the choice. Amen? Because you will. You will stand before him. Yes. And listen, I don't know what God has planned for you, but I know it's good or good. And I expect you to stay focused. Yes. Amen? Amen? Because remember, when we, when, we allow this, when we allow this devil to do it, this is what happens on this picture. But then when we offer it, say when he offer it. Amen. When we're offering worship, this means now, yes. hallelujah, every breath. Yes. Right, beloved Kathy? Every breath. Yes. It's no longer a matter, it's no longer a matter of me being up here, and this is my worship, and now we're done. Okay. Well, let's go get some tacos. Don't get me wrong, it's great to have tacos, right? Yeah. It's great to have, I love tacos. But listen, Holy Spirit's expectation is, did you ask me if I wanted tacos? Oh, come on now, somebody. Oh, this preacher's being too weird. Good. Good. Jesus is my Lord. I fear God. Listen, he owns me. Last time I checked, if you have a master, you have to check with the master. Yeah. Amen? Can we start checking in with the master? Will, this will keep you grounded in this relationship yeah. with Christ. Yeah. You see, the beauty is God wanted to show this picture of just a beloved couple, a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, right? God just wanted to show that because everything revolves around Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right? See, there's so many times that we chase after that 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 becomes an idol. Yeah. Right? Can I get amen? Yeah. Oh, I want to have an abundant marriage. I want to have an overcoming marriage. I want to have a, you know, right? Why don't we have Holy Spirit first? Amen. And bless Him. And let God. Yeah. Let God. Amen. Let God do it. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. So we're just going to repeat everything we read. And thank you for standing. We're going we're gonna to remain standing. And we got a song. And after that song, we're going to do the baptism. Amen. Yeah. I urge you, brothers and sisters. Let's bring it. Therefore. Yeah. I urge you, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. That's us. The family of God. Amen. You're my sister. You're my sister. Amen. Sister Daddy, my sister, right? And my sister, my brother. I like pointing like that sometimes. <laughs> In view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Amen? Amen. We talked about the offering, and this is the offering that God has for us. Thank and praise God, we're coming upon Christmas. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And I just love that because you see God's hand, and he's offering you Jesus. Amen? Amen. I, don't know, I, I don't know where every heart's at tonight. Um, I know that we have this, this amazing evening with baptism and everything else. But I'm going to ask you, if tonight was the last night of your life here on this earth. Do you know for sure that you're going to wake up in heaven? Thank you, Lord. See right there, that just blesses God. Amen? Amen. And if you're not sure, if you're not sure, I want to ask you, will you make it tonight? Will you make tonight the for sure part of your life that you give yourself over to Lord Jesus Christ? Will you make it tonight 
Will you say, Lord Jesus, I just receive all of you. Amen. The altar is open. We feel led to come to this altar. Praise God. Um, we're going to get back there and uh, get ready for the baptism. Hallelujah. I see the youth group coming down. Praise God. So it's about that time. Hallelujah. God's good. All the time. All the time. All the time. And just keep getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus' name.